you're gonna carry the anointing into a situation, it doesn't matter if they know the Lord. God's not like, well, they can't be a recipient of my power. You're the carrier of the supernatural. You get full of the Holy Spirit, and then you say, God, I'm gonna step out bold for you, and you watch what God does as God moves and God touches and God heals because you said, God, I see the new thing you're doing, and God, I wanna be used by you. Man, I'm telling you what, there is no place like back to school night to get pumped up for what God is gonna do this school year. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? It's gonna be incredible. And you know what is the most exciting thing? Is this school year, God wants to do something new in your life. God is gonna do new things in and through you this school year that blow your mind, students. And I, I think a, a good scripture to think about tonight as we look at this school year and we think, God, what new things do you have for me? Listen to this, it's in Isaiah. It says, behold, I am doing a new thing, now it springs forth. Do you perceive it? Do you perceive it? You know what, new is exciting, isn't it? How many of you love, like when you think of new, you think like, oh man, I just love a new pair of socks. Anybody like putting on new socks? Anybody? I was like, I mean, I knew a guy once that he never wore the same pair of socks twice. He always wore a new pair of socks. I, 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 I can feel that, all right? What about a new toothbrush? Anybody like a new toothbrush? I just got a new tooth, tube of toothpaste the other day, and I was like, I, I still had a little toothpaste in the old one, but it was all crusty, and I was like, I'm just going for the new one, because new is awesome, all right? You know, I just love, anybody just like a new thing, new things? You know, new things are fun. But let me, listen to this. The God of the universe wants to do a new thing in your life this school year. The God of heaven, did you hear that? The God of heaven wants to do something new in your life. You know, you might be looking at the school year and thinking of the challenges that you're gonna face. Maybe you're a teacher, maybe you're a student, and you just look and you're like, man, it seems like there's giants in front of me. It seems like, man, I don't know how I'm gonna make it through this sea in front of me of problems. I don't know how, Lord, I need you to do a miracle in this classroom, or I need you to do a miracle in this area of my friendships. But listen to this, the God who's doing a new thing is the same God of the Bible. The God who wants to do a new thing in your life is the God who helped David kill a giant. The God who wants to do a new thing in your life this school year is the God who parted the Red Sea. The God who wants to do a new thing in your life this year is the God who raises the dead. The God who wants to do a new thing in your life this year is the God who heals, the God who does the supernatural. That's what we're talking about tonight. Not just new, but that God is gonna do something new. Come on, let's give him some praise right now. He's worthy of praise. But here's the thing, here's the thing. There's a question in this scripture that you all need to ask yourself. It says this, I'm doing a new thing. I'm about to do something new. Do you see it? Do you not see it? Do you see it? Do you see what God wants to do in your life this year? Do you see how God wants to move? And here's how you see what God wants to do. If you want to see the new thing God wants to do in your life, the powerful things God wants to do in your life this year, then the first thing you need to think through is you need to step out of your comfort zone. God wants you to step out of your comfort zone. All right, over here, I have a Snuggie and a recliner. And some of you are going into this school year, and this is kind of how you look, all right? You're like, God has blessed you. You know, you're like, this was a great summer. I feel comfortable. I feel cozy. I feel good. Oh, this is going to be awesome. But you're like, if you think about it, this comfort zone, it can be friends that you've gotten comfortable around, but they're not moving forward, you forward and everything God has for you. It can be an attitude that you've developed, maybe at home, or maybe as you even walk into school where you become intimidated and you say, you know, I'm going to shrink back. I'm just going to sit back. I'm just going to kind of stick with who I'm comfortable with. But God's calling you to a new thing. He's calling you to say, you know what? School years ain't going to look like this for me because God's got something new for me. I'm throwing out the Snuggie this school year because I'm going to step into everything God has for me. This is the new thing. And you know when you do that and you say, God, I'm going to go for your new thing, God's got something special for you. Oh, look in here. It's a, a key lime pie. Hi, concrete from Andy's somebody. You know who I think needs this? 
I think, I think Rogersville Superintendent Rocky Valentine needs a key lime pie concrete. Can you give him a hand? There's a spoon in there. Wait a second. You know what? I think every superintendent needs a key lime pie concrete. How about you guys? Bring out the key lime pie. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. You got to step out of your comfort zone and say, God, it's not about me being comfortable this year. It's about everything you have for me. Sometimes to see the new thing God wants to do in your life, you got to embrace challenges. Sometimes the new thing God wants to do in your life looks like this ladder. And you can be like, God, is that really you? God, I thought you wanted to do something new in my life, but that looks, that looks hard. That looks like, God, I'm going to have to stand up for you, God, when it's not necessarily cool. God, it looks like I'm going to have to step out. and that, that, I'm not used to stepping out, but it's a challenge. But let me tell you, as you say, God, I'm not going to be afraid. God, I'm not going to be deterred. I'm going to climb to where you want me to go. God, when there's opposition, God, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to step out in the Holy Spirit. You know God's got something new for you when you do that. God's got good things for you. He's going to be there with you, just like he's with me up on this ladder. God's going to go before you when you step into the challenges, and he's got a new thing for you. He's got a new thing. Let's see what this new thing is. Oh, it's brand new AirPod Pros. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Oh, uh, I want to bless somebody. I want to bless somebody in here. I want to bless somebody. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to bless you right here. Give her a hand right there, right there. You got to embrace challenges if you want to step in everything God has. So maybe you've had times where people, you know, they've made fun of you for your faith. Maybe you have times where you're like, man, I'm not sure how this will be taken or I've never stepped out and prayed for somebody. I want to encourage you to say, God, I believe as I step into the challenge, God, as I'm led by the Holy Spirit, God, as I say, God, I'm not going to be intimidated this school year, but God, I'm going to stand for you. God, I'm not going to be intimidated by what people might say. God, I'm not going to be intimidated by people making me look this way or that way. God, I keep my eyes on you. God is going to be right there and bless you in that challenge. He's got new things for you. You're going to see him open up ways for you that you never thought were possible because God is right there with you in the challenge. Get courageous, students, this year. Get ready for what God wants to do in your life. It's going to be amazing. He wants you to step into the challenges if you want to see God do new things. And he wants you to be a carrier of the supernatural. Ah, how many of you love a good backpack? You know, many of you students, you're going to carry a backpack like this in school. And, and it's going to be full of stuff, much like what's in this backpack. You might have a, a Bic pen in your backpack. You know, it's good for, you're going to take notes in class, students, right? You're going to take some notes in class. Uh, you're going to have a notepad. You're going to say, you know what? I'm going to be a good student, right? Superintendents are going to be good students this year. You're going to take lots of good notes. You might have some books in the backpack. But you know what? You're not just carrying that to school, your supplies. But you're carrying a humility that says, God, I want to honor you as I go into this school. God, I'm going to be an example for you. God, I want to be used by you. God, I want to carry your presence as I walk into school. I don't want to just carry my supplies. I don't want to just carry my expectation for the year. I don't want to just carry an excitement. I want to carry your presence. But honestly, and this is true for any teacher, any superintendent, any student, if you want to see all that God wants to do in your life this year, you have to recognize, God, I see that you want me to be a carrier of the supernatural. Uh, you want me to be a carrier of the supernatural. You want me to be carrier, Lord, to bring your presence into the lives of people. You know, it's fun to carry cool things, isn't it? It's fun to carry cool things. Your name is Noah, right? Yeah? Yeah? You're Noah? Do you play sports? Yeah, I play basketball and baseball. Basketball and baseball. Are you good? You're pretty good and pretty good. Where do you play basketball and baseball? No, Norwood, are you guys going to win a lot of games this year? I hope so. Are you going to stand for Jesus in your school? Yes, sir. I believe it. I believe it. You know what? 
I want to bless you. I'm going to give you this backpack, but inside this backpack, I think it should be a good sports year for you because I want to give you these Jordans right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He likes them. And I want to bless you. And I pray it's the best school year you've ever had. And I pray as you stand for Jesus, God uses you in a big way. But be encouraged. You are awesome. Can we give him a hand right now? That's awesome. So cool. And that's exactly how it works. When you say, God, I want to be a carrier of the supernatural. God, I want to see you do powerful things in my life then God's going to put you in divine appointments. God's going to put you in places with students and, and friends and people that even aren't your friends. You know, sometimes you go, oh, that person's too cool for me to talk to them, or, or that person, they're not in my friend group, or I I've never stepped out before there, but God's actually going to position you and give you a divine appointment. And as you say, God, I'm going to be a carrier of the supernatural. You know what happens when you do that? The Holy Spirit's going to speak to you. And he's going to say, you know what? I, you're like, I don't even know how I could know this, but I feel like God's telling me that he wants to touch your knee and heal you in the name of Jesus. And you're going to carry the anointing into a situation. It doesn't matter if they know the Lord. God's not like, well, they can't be a recipient of my power. You're the carrier of the supernatural. You get full of the Holy Spirit, and then you say, God, I'm going to step out bold for you. And you watch what God does as God moves and God touches and God heals because you said, God, I see the new thing you're doing, and God, I want to be used by you. God, I want to be used by you. God, I want to be used by you. You'll be a carrier. You might carry the supernatural and you might say, God, I just feel a stirring in my heart. God, that you want me to start a prayer group at school. And God, I'm going to step out and I'm going to say yes. You might get a divine appointment and say, okay, that, you know what a divine appointment is? That's God saying, hey, I want to use you right now in this time, in this place to speak to that person. And it could be a divine appointment and say, hey, you know, I know we've never talked before to this person. And you say, I know I've never met you before, but we go to school together and and I felt like God just wanted me to encourage you and to let you know that Jesus loves you. And then say, do you have a relationship with Jesus? And you watch how God's presence that rests on you rushes into that situation. And God uses it to change somebody's heart for him. But if you want to see the new thing God wants to do, then you got to step out. You got to step out. You got to step out and watch how this scripture ends. It's really cool. It says, behold, I'm doing a new thing. I want to make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. You might be like, well, Brandon, that's so cool. And I would love if all those things could happen in my school, but my school is a desert. Hey God, I would love if that could happen, but my school is a wilderness. Like when I look at the landscape, it's not going great for me. There's not a lot of spiritual things happening. You know what? You're not doing it. God is doing it with you. And you know what he says? I don't care what your school looks like. I'm going to help you. I'm going to make a way in the wilderness. I'm going to make a road through the desert. I'm going to go before you. It's me that does it. It's because I love you. It's because I love your school. It's because I love that football player you're reaching out to. It's because I love that cheerleader. And I'm going to help you. I'm the one who does it. I'm the one who's able. I'm doing a new thing. I'm doing a new thing. I'm doing a new thing. Turn to your neighbor and say, he's doing a new thing. Turn to your other neighbor and say, and he's using me. Stay standing just for a moment, because he is. He's going to use you. And he's the one who does it. That's why the pressure's off. The only thing we have to do is keep our eyes on him. The only thing we have to do is say, God, I need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord, I know I can't do it. But God, you said you make a way through the wilderness. And you make rivers in the desert. God, I can't wait to see the new thing you're going to do this year. Thank you so much for joining James River Church on our YouTube channel. Our prayer is that you were encouraged and your faith was strengthened today. And we want to let you know that we'd love for you to be a part of our online family. As well, we'd love if you subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell for notifications. You'll be so glad you did because we're always putting out great sermons, new worship content, and it helps you know when we go live for our weekly services. We hope you have an amazing day and thank you again for watching. God bless.